Sir Alex Ferguson may be Manchester United's most successful manager of all time in terms of silverware, but where does he rank alongside other Red Devils managers when it comes to overall win rate? Taking into account only managers that took charge of the Reds for more than 30 competitive matches, here are the top 7 most successful United bosses of all time. In at number 7 we have Big Ron Atkinson. Ron took over in the summer of 1981, three days before the release of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And while Indiana Jones was out searching for the Ark of the Covenant, United were in desperate need for their first trophy since the 1968 European Cup. Just two years later, United were back to winning ways as Atkinson brought home the FA Cup. He repeated the feat a couple of years later, but was sacked after a terrible start to the 86-87 season, despite Atkinson leading United to five successive top four finishes. At number six, there's Sir Matt Busby. Busby is a legend at United and, depending on how old you are, arguably United's greatest ever manager. Whether you think it's him or Sir Alex, we'll let you fight that one out amongst yourselves. In terms of win rate, Busby sits a lowly sixth on our list, winning just 50.5% of United's games in his two stints in charge of the club. He added five First Division titles, two FA Cups, five Charity Shields, and a European Cup to Old Trafford's trophy cabinet, as well as developing star talent such as George Best, Dennis Law, Bobby Charlton, Tommy Taylor, and Duncan Edwards. In at five is Louis van Gaal. Not universally popular at United, the Dutchman spent big on some disappointments, namely Angel Di Maria, Memphis Depay, and Falcao, without improving on David Moyes' league position and trophy hall. However, the former Ajax and Barcelona man, famous for promoting youth, did bring through the likes of Marcus Rashford, Jesse Lingard, and Timothy Fosu Mensa. He ended his Old Trafford reign with silverware, bringing home the 2016 FA Cup. At number 4 we have the unpopular David Moyes. It was always going to be a tough ask for anyone to follow in the footsteps of an immensely successful manager like Sir Alex Ferguson. Moyes was seen as a long-term replacement for Ferguson, a young Scot who had longevity. Sound familiar? Unfortunately, after the success of the Ferguson era, it was a difficult pill to swallow for United fans to expect mediocrity from a manager that was consistent, if unremarkable, at Everton. He was sacked after 10 months in charge, the shortest managerial reign at United in 82 years. Despite this, his win rate was higher than Van Hall, Matt Busby, and Ron Atkinson. Now at three, we welcome someone you've probably never heard of. It's Ernest Magnol, who was in charge of Manchester United from 1903 to 1912. Magnol was the first successful manager that brought a major trophy to the club, the 1908 First Division title, which came just two years after achieving promotion from the Second Division. He would go on to manage Manchester City immediately after his United spell, and he ended his United career with 242 wins in 471 games. But according to a book on the history of football in Manchester, Magnol's last game in charge of the Reds was against rival City, a time when he knew he would be leaving for the blue side of town. It was rumored he was happy with the 1-0 loss to his future club. In at number two is, surprise, surprise, Sir Alex Ferguson. The legendary United manager is the most successful in the club's history, winning 13 Premier League titles, two European Cups, and five FA Cups amongst a host of others. Fergie was almost booted out the club after fans protested United's poor form in the 1989-90 season, but he turned it around to win the FA Cup that year. And the rest is pretty much history. Fergie would win 38 trophies whilst in charge at Old Trafford, but his win rate is slightly less than our guy at number one. And that is current Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho. That's right. Based on win rate alone, the special one has won a higher percentage of matches as United manager than anyone else in the club's history. Despite United's league position, Mourinho is reshaping the Red Devils thanks to Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Paul Pogba. And fans should expect more from the club following Jose's inaugural season at the helm. Whether Mourinho can hold on to the top spot in our list by the time he leaves Old Trafford remains to be seen. But at the end of the day, it's silverware that counts, and for the time being, there's only one man he needs to catch up to. Thanks for watching our video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the icon in the middle.